Hello, welcome back to Funtime Crafts 24-7. This is a let's make video. And what we're making today is, as you can see here, we are using the Anna Griffin wallet card dies. And uh, we're gonna make a wallet. Um, Father's Day's coming up. And uh, hopefully you guys got my video. You watched this little video about using the jelly plate. Um, and in that video, I did a project share on this card here. Made this for Pops. And uh, I wanted to make him a wallet and stuff it with some fun little gift cards and some cash and things. And so um, I thought it would be a hoot. And I wanted to make it to go along with this as a gift. But I, I did a video. I think the last video was this video here um, on the jelly plates and using the Stamps of Life dotted alphabet uh, to do a personalized card. Aren't these just fun? Um, and in that one, we made this card together. And then... Um, I was telling you that I loved how the gems came out on this one. And so I was able to actually add them to my mom's card. Like, how fun and sparkly is that? <laughs> Didn't that come out great? Oh, I just love it. I love how these came out. They're just so fun. And then Pops is just like, almost looks like a sign that should be in like Vegas, right? <laughs> if the background wasn't, the background looks like it's on top of a um, like file folder and then the Pops looks like it needs to be on a Vegas sign or something, right? <laughs> on Main Street. I just think it's so great. Uh, but here, this is what these look like on the inside. Like, right? How fun are those? I just love how these came out. I love the um, ombre effect and the variation. But anyways, so what we're doing, like, focus. <laughs> what we're doing is we're going to make a wallet to go with this for a Father's Day gift. And um, so, yeah. And I have an idea about how I want to do it, but... I haven't actually put it together yet. I've already used this die before, so I know how the die goes together. But sometimes you have an idea on how you want to, like, decorate it, but it doesn't necessarily pan out. So hopefully it pans out. So the first thing I want to do is I actually want to bust out this. Um, what is this? Redesign. This is a Prima redesign mold uh, called Curio Trinkets. And I want to make a conch to go on to the top of the wallet. Um, you know how sometimes like a Western style or Indian style wallet will have like a beautiful um, silver detail on it. That's what I want to use this for. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to use that one. And this is like the perfect size to go on like embellish cards and stuff. Um, you could even use these to put in the center of flowers. Uh, they're actually small enough. So like on your large flowers. Um, or even medium sized ones, you could like add these as the centers for your flower and they're really, really pretty. Um, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and use that one. Um, the reason we're doing this first is so the hot glue can dry and then I can paint it in between uh, some of the steps that we're doing. So what you want for this is you want a really, really high temperature glue gun, one that gets at least 100 watts so that way the glue gets hot enough in here um, to melt and go down into the detail of what it is you're trying to mold. Um, and so I'm going to do that one. And then all you do is you hold the tip really close into the mold. And you um, allow it. You want to make sure your glue gun is nice and hot though. And so then you just fill up the mold. And this is a really, this one's actually pretty shallow for these like redesigned ones. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and like pounce it on the table, getting it to settle in all the little crevices. And then if, if you need to, you can like go back and fill in. But I think I'm actually pretty happy with that. And then any of these little pieces that get on the edge, you can actually go afterwards and you can actually cut those off. So don't don't worry if it gets a little bit over. It's nicer if you don't, but if you do, like I just did, um, don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Uh, you'll just trim it off and it'll look perfect. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and let this dry. I'm done with the glue gun for now. And then when we get to a step, a break in making the wallet, uh, we'll be able to paint that up. Uh, let's see. So now the next step we want to do is I want to use um, some of these texture rolls from Sizzix. They come in a big, like, 12-inch uh, wide roll, 48 inches long. 
and they are a really awesome material for making like this type of stuff whether you're doing like a purse a bag this wallet this stuff is like comes in a roll and is really really durable it's like paper leather is what i like to call it it's like a like a paper leather and it gives a really cool leather effect but before i cut this out or do anything with it what i want to do is because i want the base of my wallet to be brown i want to actually crunch it all up i want to like wrinkle it all up to give it like a worn weathered look um and oh this this happens to be the end maybe because it comes in four feet it's the end maybe i should see if it's gonna work before i crunch it up oh that's hilarious oh yeah it's perfect oh cool yeah no worries okay well that worked out terrific it was like normally it's in a giant roll and you have to cut a big piece off <laughs> so there okay it's perfect i was like oh if i'm crunching it up and then i can't use it that'd be hilarious well we would go gray right we would just go gray it wouldn't be that big of a deal and we make a smaller something out of it <laughs> a little purse bag or clutch bag or something so i'm just scrunching 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 and then what i want to do to enhance the weathered worn look of my wallet i want to ink it up as well um and inking this in um like a vintage photo or a ground espresso distress ink or just ink in general um will um enhance the detail of the crinkles and help make it look give it that illusion of weathered leather like worn leather um, so we're going to go ahead and let me move this over just a tad. I'm going to grab my distress inks here and I'm going to use like, well, we're going to like test them out. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking I want a dark color. I think I want ground espresso. Oh yeah. Yeah, and see how that detail of the of the wrinkles is coming out. Um, yeah, this is very cool, and I want to do this before I run it through the embossing folder as well, because uh, I'm not I'm trying to enhance the worn weathered look, the leather look, um, on the material, and not on the embossed design, because we're also going to run this through. A big embossing folder as well um, I have some like oh what size are they they are what are they like an a7 or they're a, like a 9 by 12 embossing folder is what they are um, so 9 inches by 12 inches they're really large embossing folders and then we can do a bit more of this even after we cut it out as well I wanted to get, um, and see, look, look how dark that is. So hopefully I can get that piece to, actually, let's see where that is going to be at. So where are we going with this? This, this is the outside of your wallet. Oh, so that's perfect. So I'll keep going across here. I don't have to worry about this because it's in the inside. So yeah, awesome. Oh, yeah, this is going to be really cool. See how, like, the distressing of it? Oh, whoops. I better get that, too, before I um, get something in it. <laughs> Drag something through it and get it all schmutzy. <laughs> yeah, this uh, Sizzix texture roll is awesome for doing fun little treatments and techniques like this to get a worn, fun look. Um, just adds another element and honestly just inking it up really quick and doing the little wrinkling um, of this really it's so quick it, and it adds so much uh, it actually adds quite a lot to the project it makes it really fun yeah if you guys just saw that other video that came up but didn't watch it just like scroll through a little just to see how it was put together because I did the jelly plate 
Um, I did talk about some, like, Hurtful Creations type stuff, uh, like paper and stuff. But if you just get through that nonsense, um, it the technique for the jelly plate is in there as well. And how to do the letters, because that's a pretty fun thing to do, too. And it's really easy. Um, and you can pick up jelly plates on Amazon for about $16, the 5x7 ones. They're really not that expensive. And I think, uh, let's check this out. Uh, hang on one second. Okay, so we got that done. And so now what I want to do, you could actually technically just be done right here. And you've got the worn weather, the worn leather. I keep saying weather. <laughs> the worn leather look. Um, you could just cut it out right here and it'd be really stinking cool. It would be awesome. But I wanted to go a little bit more and see if we can make it even, you know, just a little bit, just that extra little bit with an embossing folder. And so I have this one here. I get these off of Amazon and I just type an extra large embossing folder and I think they're like A7. They're like an A7 embossing folder. And so then once I figure out what size they actually are, I then type that into Amazon and then a, like quite a few of them come up. They're not making them as as much as they used to, but they still do make them. Sizzix does. And sometimes you can even find them on their website. Okay, so yeah, that fits in there. So I've got this like really fun like patterned here. It kind of reminds me of like um uh one of those uh Indian style wallets like this like wishbone herringbone style which is what I think this is and so I'm gonna run this through my um embossing plates and I'll be right back okay so I just finished that and right look how fun that is that added a lot to it didn't it that's gonna be great so I'm going for like an um western style like vibe ish kind of for the wallet kind of <laughs> and um, I think this is really gonna do it and so now what I want to do is I want to figure out where I want to cut out so I didn't get it didn't emboss all the way up there so I need to be mindful of that and then uh, also all the way to the edges and I'm really loving this so let's see this is gonna fold up like this and so this right here is going to be the front of my wallet. This is the front. And I like that. I do. I like that a lot. So otherwise, this would be the front. And that's pretty fun too. It's got a bit more distressing on it. But um, I think I'll save that for the inside. And I think I'll go with this style here, just like this. So I'm now going to run this uh, uh, through the die cut machine as well on the large plates and uh ever since i saw um uh or ever since paradise princess uh here on youtube did the review on the new gemini 2 machine and she said she uses her uh anna griffin plates in that machine i have been using the heck out of my gemini pro because these plates work absolutely beautiful she is so right they work amazing um, in that machine in my Gemini Pro. I love it. I love the combo of them with this and primarily because the Gemini Pro takes 14 inch wide plates. And so you sip, you zip these through and, um, these are a dream because the, the width, you don't have to worry about it being all weird. Um, but anyhow, I'm going to run this through and I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. And we got that. Let's see if we still have any of our embossing left. Oh, look at how fun that is. See how nice that cut out? Oh, and look at how fun that is. Gosh, doesn't that look like a worn wallet? <laughs> That's going to be the front of our wallet. That looks so cool. And it's just lightly embossed, but I still like it. I love the effect. Now I'm going to keep this piece and maybe these scraps. I don't know. I might be able to do something with these. So I'm going to think about these. I'm not going to throw them away because that texture is a little bit expensive. And so I don't want to just be... It's, it's not, you know, cheap copy paper, so I want to think about it before I do discard it. And now what I want to do is I'm done with these large ones, so I think let's... Oh, actually, uh, I need to color up my... Uh, this is done. My little conch that's going to go on the front of my wallet. Oh, yeah, see? Oh, how cool. So let's take some scissors, and let's see, we're done with this. 
and yeah this the hot glue when you do the hot glue version of this type of stuff it goes quick they they actually set up really fast and they're really easy i like to gesso them first and so that's what i'm going to do right now is gesso this so while we're doing this stuff it could be drying i'm uh, just going to get some uh cheap little cheap scrap papers here oh whoops uh, cheap scrap paper. I'm knocking a bunch of stuff over over there. Um, and we're just going to color that with some black gesso. I just got a little throwaway paintbrush. This is a uh, modeling, black modeling paste. Uh, I thought this was gesso, but uh, I think I can actually just use it. Modeling paste, you can... Um, I'm just going to use it. Why not? It's here. It's opened. Let's just give it a whirl. What What happens? I probably should use gesso. I don't know what this is going to do. Uh, it's not going on very well. I should just get gesso. Well, it's not bad. Um, actually, I'm just going to get gesso because it's easier. It, it'll go quicker. It has a lot more, like, grip. It's like primer for your stuff like this. So hang on one sec. Let me find it. Found it. Nether big behemoth of a tub. <laughs> That's why I thought that was that. <laughs> And it, yeah, and then I thought it had a lid like this, but yeah, hel hilarious. I should have <laughs> went with it and been like, yeah, this has like little strands of, oh yeah, see, see how much easier that is? Yeah, gesso is like primer for this stuff. Uh, so you can get this in black or white. Um, white is the most common and the most um, economical. And you can go over it. I like the darkness that the black adds to it when you're painting or when you're doing stuff like this. You get a dark undertone, whereas the white, it highlights whatever goes on top of it. It seems like it makes it bright, whereas this gives it that nice deep uh, color. Um, it makes it super fun and nice. Okay. And uh, so, yeah, so that's all primed and ready to go. Now, oh. Don't get it on your project, though. Hmm. <sighs> yep. And good thing I have a paper towel here. And we can put that back. See how quick that is? Like, just adding these fun little details. Hot glue, really inexpensive. A giant tub of gesso. I've had this stuff forever. This stuff lasts for eons. Eons. I think I got it when the dinosaurs were on the earth. Um... But yeah, and then I just get these Amazon. You can get like a hundred of these for a few dollars. So then you don't have to wash them out or anything. You can just pitch them. Um, they're really inexpensive and they make your projects go much quicker. Um, so we'll let that dry. And let me wash my hands though because I really don't want it all over my wallet. Hold on. Okay, now we're back to our wallet folding portion of the event. And so on here, there are some score lines. And there's kind of a double one here, and I'm going to fold it in the middle of that. And this stuff is nice and flexible. Just keep kind of going all the way down. And then we're going to use our burnishing tool, and we are going to crease the dickens out of it. Yeah. Just want to make sure that it meets up to the top here and doesn't go over so the outside of the wallet doesn't look jinky. Yeah, I don't I don't want the outside of my wallet to look funny. So just making sure we're down far enough. And then let's go ahead and burnish that. Yeah, it's a bit wrinkly, but I'm not minding that. Uh, let's see. That that seems like... Huh. And I really wanted it to be open the whole way, but then how do I get my picture in there? Because I wanted to put a picture, like how they have their driver's license. You know how you have your driver's license? Uh, I want to put a picture of Mama and Pops in there. <laughs> you know, and then sometimes you have the spot for the photos. I thought it'd be fun to put a picture because we just visited them. It'd be fun to put a picture of them in there and then have the little dill for the gift cards here. And then I was thinking the back would be open, but it's not. But that is A-OK. -okay. 
So I might be able to just do, actually, what if we, let's think about this for one second. We might be able to ad lib this. Let's see what we think about this. Oh yeah, we like that. That's nice and crisp and clean there. I like that. I'm kind of pressing into when I'm burnishing this. So that way it goes in. It has a propensity to want to go in. See? Like that. I think that looks lovely. I might have to trim the top of that off though. I want to see what I can do to get it to... Um, to let's see like that that looks good burnish that really well and see what that looks like oh yeah that looks good that looks better than this side honestly so maybe I need to yeah I think I'm going to trim a bit of the inside off this part off um, I really like that, so maybe I can move this down. Maybe we can just mold it down. Just encourage it to go a little south. <laughs> Let's see if we can do that. Encourage it to live down in the Floridian area southward. <laughs> I'll just we'll just kind of manipulate it with our burnishing tool and see if we can't get that emboss line to go a little bit south. Let's see how do we feel about that? I'm feeling pretty darn good about that. That is looking like a wallet. Okay, now I'm thinking so this here there's another emboss line here. And this is supposed to fold in so you can um, slide something in here. And it's only open down here. But I'd like the whole thing to be open here and still slide something in there. I know, greedy, right? Um, but it'd be fun to, if there was cash, if I could put cash, like a real wallet in there. This is kind of big for a regular. Let's see what it looks like. Hold on. Okay, found my little friend Andrew Jackson here. We're going to see how he fits. Oh, wow, that's... <laughs> well, it's obviously not a wallet. <laughs> that's not going to fit. So, it can almost fit in this one side, though. All right, maybe I'll just do like a money clip inside and put it in here. Okay, well, we won't... We'll just put that aside. Okay, well, we'll make it the way it's supposed to go then. And we'll just have it for gift cards here and we'll do a money clip or something. Uh, that'll be fine. Uh, hold on, buddy needs out. Okay, so now the next trick is to fold this up and make it look nice. It's definitely looking like a worn wallet, huh? Yeah, it's definitely looking like a worn wallet. That's awesome. Okay, let's see what the inside looks like. Oh, that looks pretty good, right? That actually looks really good. That that looks like a worn wallet. <laughs> uh, if I've ever seen one, that is terrific. Um, okay, I think I like that. And so now the next step is... Oh, I guess we could glue it together, maybe. Maybe that would work. <laughs> um, so let's see. I think I want to just go ahead and put some score tape on there. Um, do I want score tape or do I want glue? Maybe we want a little of both. Maybe just a tiny bit of both. Hmm, we can have everything. We've got choices, people. Pie for everyone. All right. Hey. And this will make it hold while our glue is on there. 
So let's go ahead and peel these off. See how flexible that is? It's like nice and uh, supple. It's so pliable. Uh, which makes it really cool for making this type of stuff because it almost feels real. Which is maybe why I thought my friend Andrew was going to fit in here. <laughs> he doesn't fit. Oh, oh! I forgot the glue. Well, too late now. This is Suk Wang. It really gets with the program. <laughs> there is no... There is no going back once you uh, use that stuff. <laughs> All right. Well, no worries. <laughs> let's see. All right. Let's. How do we feel about this? Oh, see if if it's if it's bunching, it means you uh, just have to put more money to give it a reason to bunch, right? <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sure pops will agree with that. <laughs> yeah, put some more money in there. <laughs> Oh, I think that looks great. I think it looks awesome. So now I need a piece of acetate for the inside for my photo. And then we got to do the inside of the card there. But now I want to decorate the outside. And so what I'm going to do is... That is looking pretty fun, right? Isn't that great? Um, so now what I want to do is... I want to cut out of this gray one here. Um, I'm going to use the... Uh, let's see. I'm going to use the Anna Griffin mini inside pocket dies and I want to cut out there's this really pretty decorative one um this one here and I want to I want to cut this out of the gray and we're going to doll it up a little bit with some ink and uh I want to cut the tabs off and then I'm going to put it right here you know like that style like western -y style and then I'm going to put my I think that that's called a conch like that thing that we're making is going to go right there and won't that be really fun and a little bit of blue and metallic blue and silver that'll be cool and then it'll go with my card is what the goal is so let's um see what this is i'm hoping the gray is kind of silvery ish well not silvery i was gonna distress it uh, let's see here oh sorry Let's see. See, it comes in a big giant roll like this, and then you just cut a piece off. You just have to, like, whack off a chunk. So let's just see what that looks like. And I wanted to go with the same stuff, so this has ended up what I ended up having. And I think that'll be fine. And we can, like, distress this with some, like, blue and stuff. Or, like, maybe some browns. I don't know. We'll do something. We'll see what kind of a treatment we could do. And how well the dyes cut it out. That'll be... That intricate die, that'll be interesting. Um, let me get this rolled back up. So I just grab the inside of this when I'm doing it and just twist, 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 get it really small. And then I hook it back in the container really quick. <laughs> Cause there's a little there's a little thing down a little tab down there that it does not like to. Yeah, and then you just kinda Oh, sometimes it works, sometimes you have to manipulate it. I try not to squish the edges so that way depending on what I'm doing with it. I'll fix that later though. I don't need to I don't need to ding around with that right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this one cut out and then see what we want to do with this and what it's gonna look like. So hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. And what do we think here? Oh hey. Oh, right. Oh, how pretty is that? Oh, that's oh, that's gorgeous. We we could probably just leave this. Let me get the pieces out. Um oh, yeah. This is looking great. Yeah, I cut it out just fine. I wasn't sure how the die was going to do cuz like the intricate cuz just how I mean, look at the detail on this one. It's so pretty. Um yeah, that's this is going to be gorgeous on there, I'm pretty sure. This is kind of a beigey gray color, really. It's going to be really pretty on there. Which goes with the card, actually, so that's cool. Yeah, oh man, this is pretty. So I just have to cut the tabs off on this. Oh my... That's going to give us that same vibe, I think. 
we'll just cut those tabs off. We'll just cut it off to where it looks cool. And then I'll put my embellishment right there. Let me clean this up. I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm going to chop this off. And this one, oh, maybe we could try to keep it a little bit roundish. Okay, hang on. Okay, so now I have, um, I got this. I finished cutting the old tabs off of it. And so I'm just going to glue this on. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll trim it to the edge of the wallet, um, where, wherever that ends up being. I do want to make sure this is nice and secure if I can help it cuz you're going to be in you're going to end up bending it and that kind of thing uh, opening and closing the wallet and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, I want to put a picture in there and that's going to be pretty fun. I thought, "Oh, I could put a movie. One of them like they'll look like little credit cards. One will be a little um for the movies, do dinner movies and then like um money for like uh popcorn and stuff like that. Just funness. Or whatever. <laughs> whatever they want to do. <sighs> okay, so now I'm gonna put a block on this and let that dry. Like like so. Oh, but I don't want it to dry misshapen. Let's go ahead and let that dry like so like that okay so we'll let that dry on there and then what we need to do now is we'll just put this up here for a little bit oh pushed it out of sync let's see like so and oh sorry again with the whole fake earthquake sorry about that there oh it's gonna have to be good enough okay steady eddie okay so now uh what we want to do is let's get those other pieces and see what else there is and let's see we need our gift card holders oh uh, let's see what do we want to do here um this one here i bet well i bet this will do the happy father's day oh it sure will will this one uh, i think this one's too small Oh, yeah, that's too small, but we could cut it out, and we could stamp it on this, and we could pop that in. We could pop that in, in somewhere. Oh, like that. We'll pop that in like that on the front right down there, and then uh, let's see. This is the actual holding portion. Uh, so let's see. What colors do we want to do? This We could do this in navy blue. How about I do this in navy blue? Uh, oh, we'll do a little money. Yeah. We'll put that on the back like that, right? <laughs> That'll be fun. Um, how does it go? I think it, it goes like this, I think. Yeah, it goes like that. So we'll do this in... Uh, let's do this in, like, silver. Uh, we'll do this in navy blue. And then... Let's see. This we'll do in... I think... We'll see about maybe doing this in a... Oh, you know what? We'll cut this out of this same stuff. That, that we did on the front. And then I'll stamp it in in blue uh happy father's day on there oh i'll do that okay so let me get these cut out and stamped and i'll be right back and then we'll see how this is doing and maybe our our conch too hold on okay so i got my pieces cut out and i think this is dry i think that looks really good too so let's go ahead and cut this off and hopefully this looks good Hey, oh, I think that looks terrific. That looks terrific. Oh, I love that. That is really pretty. It It's starting to look like a real wallet. How fun. Okay, so now what I have is I got these. Um, These are for the gift cards. And so I thought, okay, well, that's cool. I could slip the two of them in there actually what we should do is glue one up and then the other one slides down then then they'll take that out and then they'll see that so that'll be really fun so let's go ahead and 
Oh, and then I, I have this for, right? How fun is that? It needs some little, like, metal details or something right here, though. Um, what if I get some little, like, brad buttons or, I don't know. But let's go ahead. Oh, here, let's, I got these for, right? <laughs> Those will be really fun in the middle. And then we'll glue this one in inside up towards the top. Oh, and I need a piece of acetate. Oh, for my photo. Uh, for the other side. Oh, yeah, that looks cool, right? That is cool. And then we'll glue this up, up top like that. Oh... Huh. Well, should I? Let's see. I wonder how easily it would be once I glue this in to get that, get this on there. To get the gift card on there. I think I'm going to go all the way up to the top like that. What if I just put a glue dot on the back of it? So let's, let's hold, okay, so let's glue this one onto here. And. That looks cool too. Oh, how fun. We'll just put a glue dot on it and. That way, it'll stay in place, but um, I can get it on and off. And then so can Pops. Pops will be able to um, take it off too. And then get the gift card off of it. Like that. So then let's just slide this in here. But up to the top here, like centered towards the top. Let's see, that looks pretty good. Okay, that looks that actually looks really good. I like that. I like it. So then this one will just slide down in. And then you'll be able to tell that there's two, right? Two little gift cards in there. And then we can pop this here, and that looks really fun. The let's see, and we'll center this up. Oh, is that centered? I don't think so. Left, right, that looks pretty decent, right? That looks good. Okay, I like it. And so now I just need a piece of acetate. To go on that side. Oh my heavens, that is really cool. We could just leave it like that, but I think the conch on there would be really fun. If that's what that's called, that little medallion, that little silver medallion. So let me uh, see about. Oh yeah, cool. That's totally good. See, and we'll put that right once that's like silver. Oh, that'll be fun. Let's see, I have some of this gilding polish. I think if I just go ahead and do silver on it oh actually i have some silver paint um oh is this not gonna oh this one's like dry shoot oh you can still use it it's not what i'm looking for though um let's see let's grab some silver paint really quick and get this colored up hold on oh some dina wakely paint i do have some actually i have some I think even more metallic paint than this. Um, let's see. I think I, I'm pretty sure I have some. What is this? Silver spoon. Let's give that a whirl. Because um, if it's thinner, this stuff's really thick, so it might take a little bit to dry. Where are you guys? Here we go. Okay. Okay. Hopefully it's... Oh, good. Oh, good. It's still usable. Apparently, these have a propensity to dry out. 
these um, type of paints, I guess. Oh, not a big fan of... Um, actually, you guys don't need me to watch... You don't need to watch this process. Let me just get this painted up and done up in silver and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got this all done up. I cut a piece of a three and a half, I believe, three and a half inch by five inch um, acetate uh, to go. Yeah, three and a half by five inch piece of acetate to go in here. It's actually a piece of clear cardstock from Harfield Creations, um, but acetate will work. And I'm going to slide a photo in there. And then um, I've got, uh, I added these two brads. I just bent them open for just a little accent, little silver brads. Then on the front of here, while I was doing up this piece here, um, I went ahead and I ran some of the Silver Dream Gilding Polish over the top of this detail here to like highlight it a little bit more. And then I was going to put it here, but I think it will look better if it's right here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hot glue that on right now. And think that that is going to just finish this off really nice. So just press it down. And there we go. And uh, I think that looks like a really fun wallet. You get the detail, that herringbone uh, pattern, that um, plus the detail of the pocket die. Very reminiscent of a Western style or Indian style, especially if you put the little conch on there or the silver um, bobble there for the embellishment. And then open it up personalized with the Happy Father's Day. And um, put a photo there and add some gift cards and a little cash. And how fun is that, right? I think... This is a hoot. You also get the weathered look from distressing it and doing the crumpled effect on it. And I think this is a super fun wallet. I think I love this Anna Griffin die. This is really a great way to personalize a gift and give something, especially if you don't know what to get a person. And it's better than just a regular, you know, like a boring gift card. <laughs> what do you do? You, we, I always give gift cards because I don't know what to buy people. And I think people appreciate that, but it gets a little monotonous when you just, here's a gift card, here's a, well, let's make it a fun uh, package for the gift card that makes it a fun thing to open. So I'm also going to create a box for this and I'm going to wrap it in tissue paper and stick it in a box. And I think that'll be fun as well uh, to go with the card that I made it um, to. And I think, so this is the wallet and then, uh, yeah, so... Uh, then this is the card I made. And I think they go together really well. I think they're fun. Um, both, well, I guess they're not really the same theme. But, hey, the Happy Father's Day in the inside, that pulls it together. <laughs> There you go. Let me know what you think of this uh, project down in the comments below. Have you pulled out your wallet die yet and used it? And what do you think of it? Uh, thanks so much for hanging out. I hope you're having a terrific day. Until next time, happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.